about the right now, we a lot about the Change that. They're dying. When it comes to the climate change crisis, there are times when we only think about what is going on around us and how it is affecting our world. But we very rarely ever talk about how it may be affecting our mental health. Often we find ourselves working and working and working to save the planet, but at the expense of our own mental and physical health. The climate issue is so great that at times we can feel powerless or out of control. Sometimes I feel like there's so much to do or that I'm not doing enough. It's concerning to me all of these issues and how to address so many different things at the same time and having such a short period of time to do it. It's especially concerning that a lot of people in power are choosing to ignore these issues. It's basically impossible not to have an emotional reaction when you think or talk about climate change. And these emotional reactions are not bad, they just happen. Climate change triggers things in people. There's anxiety, guilt, anger, frustration, worry, and these are all normal, understandable responses to have to a crisis. But something that is often not talked about is that many of us have already mental health crises or mental health issues that we're currently facing, whether that's within our relationships, our friendships, or family, or our ec economic status. These are all things that we must consider, especially when we're trying to think about the future of us. I thought I was alone and often feeling burnt out and traumatized by being a climate activist. And it wasn't until I got to meet and talk with other activists more regularly that I found out that they experience it too. Normalizing that in my activist circles has helped me recognize when I need to take a break, feel comfortable passing work to others, and know when others need help too. I know there are some of you who may be feeling helpless, hopeless, or even anxious about what is going on, especially when it happens right outside of our front doors. But it is important to know that every bit of effort that we are putting in does matter. Climate anxiety is something that we grapple with as climate organizers, but it can also be an opportunity for us to start conversations, build community, and therefore build solidarity. Easiest ways to prevent climate burnout is stop comparing yourself to other individuals. Two of the things that have helped me the most with preventing further climate anxiety and burnout as an activist are seeking out good news and finding community. I try to always remind myself that activism can take many different forms. Choose the one that serves you as much as it serves the cause. Do work that centers around your strengths, what makes you excited to get to work, and what is life-giving for you.